In this video, traders, we're going to look at seven reasons that crypto traders are wrongly nervous about trading FX. Let's put these rumors to rest. Stay tuned. Hey traders, everyone, welcome to. So scanning through the kind of crypto traders, boards, forums, chat groups, all this kind of stuff, taking questions from some of you kind guys out there as well. It seems that there are a little bit of concerns about trading FX. So I want to address these and add your thoughts in the comment section below. If you have any more comments, again, stick them in the comment section below. Let's get started. So number one, they think you need to watch 10 times the news flow with FX as you do with crypto. Yes, and I know that most people in crypto have made money by watching news flow, seeing good news coming in, buying the crypto, watching the crypto rally, seeing bad news coming out, trading it like that, but just trading it in one way direction. And admittedly, there is a lot of currency news out there, but the very best FX traders don't care about any of the noise. They are news, should I say, they treat the news as noise. They are just looking at the chart pattern. So in other words, like you were doing with crypto, as it's starting to rally, you're waiting to buy a pullback. That's exactly what FX guys do, whether it's yen, pound, dollar, Swiss franc, whatever. It's the same kind of thing. It opens up more opportunities actually, but if you wanted to keep your existing strategy you're familiar with in crypto, it will transfer usually very nicely into FX and you don't need to be monitoring all the news flow. You don't need to be an expert, which just brings me to number two. They think you need to understand the moves. It, the best traders out there aren't economists. They don't understand why something is going higher. They don't care why it's going higher. They, all they know is it's going higher because buyers are more aggressive than sellers. Same thing you could argue, why is Bitcoin ripping? Why was Bitcoin ripping up to highs uh, that, all that time ago? Well, it was because buyers were far more aggressive than sellers. There were plenty of kind of theories as to why and each were reasonably valid. Same thing with FX. You have theories like interest rates are gonna go up in this country, the economy struggling in this country. It doesn't really matter. It all comes down to that price action and supply demand. So you don't need to worry too much about the news flow. The only thing that I would add to that is that you do have to be aware when there's news coming out and there's an economic calendar that you can look at to see when news is coming out that might affect your trade. But these are things that you can kind of learn as you go along. It doesn't necessarily mean that you need to trade off it. You might just have to be aware of it because it might move your uh, pair trade in the direction or your currency pair, should I say, in your direction, your favor or not. All right, number three, they think the risk reward ratio is inferior. And do you know, this is a little bit of a fallacy, I think, because yes, a normal kind of chugging day-to-day -day stuff, many of the currency pairs are reasonably quiet. They're reasonably inactive. Not a lot is going on. They're chugging up a bit, they're chugging down a bit. They're kind of in a reasonable range. Whereas some of the cryptos are kind of ripping up in multiple, multiple 10% down. And the assumption is that because it's a bigger move, you've kind of got better risk reward ratio. And that's a little bit of a fallacy because currencies can start swinging quite in a volatile manner. They don't necessarily have to be to get a good risk reward ratio. A good risk reward ratio is about risking 10 pips to get 100. You know, it's about that stop versus that limit, that take profit versus the stop. That's the ratio you're looking at. So even if it does only move 200 pips in a day and the percentage move is way, way smaller on say US dollar you know, JPY, which is Japanese yen compared to say Bitcoin or Ethereum or one of the other cryptocurrencies, the point is you can have a much tighter stop. And because the spreads are so much tighter with FX, it means you can have a much tighter stop and it's automatic and it's risk and it kind of comes out of the position for you immediately as it goes against you, this kind of stuff. So you can tighten up your risk and therefore, even though reward isn't necessarily multiple percents, it's still enough to make that risk reward ratio pretty decent. Okay, number four, bit of an odd one this, but I came across it quite a lot, believe it or not. They don't think it's cool to trade FX. I don't know about you guys, but I don't really care about what's cool or not. I just want to make the most money as possible, whether that's trading Bitcoins, whether that's trading uh, currency pairs, whether that's trading crude oil, whether that's trading lean hogs, whether that's trading orange juice futures. It doesn't matter. I just want to go where the money is. And I think that shouldn't be something that you care about if you're a good trader. All right, number five. I think you're playing against the big guns. Yes, you are. You're playing against the biggest guys in the world, you're playing against government, sovereign, wealth funds, hedge funds, big traders. 
And that can be a good thing for you because if these guys have got to move large amounts of money around, you are trying to ride their coattails. You don't have to move large amounts of money around. You just have to try and identify where that money flow potentially is going and then jump on it. That's the key as a currency trader. Identify where the money's coming in, when the money is coming in, and then just ride it for a little bit, hop off, take your profit and move on. So whilst it is true you're playing against the big guns, so to speak, it can be an advantage for you. All right, number six, they think crypto is safer. Uh, I, don't really dis I don't really agree with this one, guys, because, you know, there's a lot of risk in crypto. There's a lot of kind of news that comes out that reprices crypto massively. Sure, it's got a little bit kind of calmer as time has gone on, but FX, we do have big moves. They can happen and extreme moves can happen, but they're very, very, very rare. Generally speaking, 24-5, if you're gonna get stopped out, you're not gonna get much slippage unless you've got massive size or unless it's one of these unusual one in every kind of 50 year events that happen. Generally, day-to-day -day trading, much easier easier to manage and regulate risk in currencies, the major currencies anyway at least, than it is in stuff like Bitcoin, altcoins, any of the other cryptos out there. Number seven, they think you need a large starting capital. Again, this is completely false, guys. This is uh, not true at all. You can get started with a really small amount of capital. Check out the link in the description section below if you fancy having a go at trading uh, currencies and any other things that a lot of financial traders trade, but it's not a large amount amount. You don't need to have a large amount, just like in crypto where you can buy a kind of percentage of um, a coin, a very small, minor amount that doesn't really mean a lot to you, but you can get a good feel for it. Same with currencies. You don't have to be buying massive million pounds and thousands of dollars worth of, or thousands of contracts worth of currency. You can trade with, you know, very small amount of money, risking very small amounts just to get a feel for it. And if you trade and you like it, then that's great. You put more money in. If you don't and it's not for you, then you don't even get off the demo. You don't even have to get off the demo. So anyway, guys, there's seven reasons the crypto traders are, in my opinion, wrongly nervous about trading FX. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you do fancy having a tr trade of FX currencies, any other kind of things that traders trade, check out the link below. Uh, that's a good broker to try out. Get a demo account there and see how we get on. All right, guys, take care. See you next one. Bye-bye.